Hi and welcome to a new video from Helituning.com and today we're having a look at the SimStick wireless simming interface. Uh, what this is, it's a, a little interface that you plug your simulator dongle into and then you plug a receiver into it and it allows you to then use the 2.4 gigahertz connection from your transmitter to the receiver that's plugged into the sim stick and effectively you've got wireless simming so your signal goes from your transmitter to the receiver then from the receiver into the sim stick and then from the sim stick into your computer and allows you to fly on the simulator so uh, I'll go through this in a bit more detail and show you how it all goes together uh, but this is the product as you can see here it's just a small stick with a USB interface on it and I'll take it out of the packet and we can have a look at it and see how this interfaces with the other elements that we need in order to create a wireless simming interface. Okay so here we have a much closer angle on the sim stick and I'm just going to point out a couple of things and then we'll turn it over and have a look at the back of the sim stick. So this here is obviously your USB interface at the front of the sim stick here this piece here uh, and that's what you plug into your USB port on your computer now what you can see down under here is a little stereo jack type port uh, and that's where the uh, jack from your uh, simulator dongle plugs in but this will become more clear when I turn the stick over so I'll uh, stop the video here and we'll just turn the stick over and you can have a look at the other side okay so here we have the other side of the sim stick now what I want to point out is that here we have the USB interface again that we plug into the computer this here is the jack that we plug our dongle into that would normally plug into the back of the transmitter so what you normally plug in the back of the transmitter goes in there and then on your dongle you usually have a USB interface that plugs into the computer that now also plugs into the sim stick here in this dongle in this uh, USB interface here so effectively your dongle plugs in here and here so you've got a loop of wire effectively uh, on your dongle from here to here so the whole dongle both ends of it plug into the sim stick and then this bit here this is where you plug in a receiver that you're going to bind to in order to get the signal from your transmitter to the sim stick and then through the looped dongle and then out of the USB port into your computer to your simulator. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a receiver into the port here and I'll also plug a dongle in so you can see how that goes together. Okay so here we have the receiver we're going to be using it's an AR6110 which is one of the supported receivers for the sim stick and you now get some idea of how big the sim stick is as well um, showing you a, uh, a known receiver here up against the sim stick you can see it's really not very big the sim stick now this actually plugs into this here so you literally plug these pins here into the holes over here and you have your battery terminal pins overhanging at the end there so they're not plugged into anything they're just sort of in the air so I'll plug that in and just show you how that goes okay so there we go there we have our 6110 plugged in and if I just tip it up slightly here you can see the battery pins overhanging at the end there also notice there's a little bit of a curve to the circuit board as well here because the spacing on the 6110 pins is not quite the same as the uh, port that it's being plugged into so it's uh, caused the circuit board to bend very slightly and I think now this is a, a problem that the SimStick have, have had in that the pin spacing on different receivers uh, are spaced differently and they've tried to kind of go somewhere in the middle so uh, on the 6110 it's a little bit tight and the pins angle in a little bit but it's not doing any damage to the uh, receiver at all it's just uh, very very slightly bent the circuit board there. So the next thing we do is we plug the dongle into this so I'll do that next. Okay, so here we have the dongle plugged into the sim stick. The end that would plug into your transmitter is plugged into the port here, and then the USB end plugged into the other end. So it's literally looped right around 
and as I showed earlier the receiver plugged in as well. So the next thing we can do with this is plug it into the USB port on our computer and then that will provide power for the receiver here as well. Uh, and then we have to uh, bind it as well. Um, actually it's a good idea to bind this receiver uh, off of the SIM stick first and then plug it in um, because it's, you're not going to you're going to have difficulty binding it with it actually plugged into the sim stick itself okay so just gone over to some uh, handheld filming here but basically this is my laptop as you can see here and then the sim stick is plugged in the side there and you can probably see that uh, it's just flashing orange every now and again on the receiver because my transmitter is not currently turned on but the, you can see the two ends of the dongle plugged in, the receiver plugged into the SIM stick and the SIM stick is plugged into my USB port there. So the next thing to do is to fire up your simulator and configure a transmitter. You know, Turn your transmitter on so it binds to the receiver, fire up your simulator and then configure a transmitter on your simulator so that uh, the two can communicate. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so here we are on the Phoenix Simulator. And what I'm just going to show you here is that here's my DX8. And as you can see, there's nothing plugged in the back of it. It's running, you know, as an ordinary transmitter, transmitting to the receiver on the SIM stick. Now what I've got here is uh, Phoenix and I've got a profile I've set up for the SIM stick. And if I edit that profile, you can see here if I move the sticks you can see stuff moving around so that's my throttle and collective going up and down and left and right aileron elevator and my rudder so that's my profile for the uh, sim stick all done and if I just click finished here you can see the model is there working fine and I can flick into idle up on my transmitter and take off and it's all working as you would expect no problems at all feels just like uh, simming with the cable plugged into the transmitter I can't feel any lag or any issues at all with the, the way the model is responding to the sticks as I'm flying everything is uh, exactly as I would expect if I was plugged in using the dongle directly into the back of the transmitter. If I bring the transmitter in here you can see no problems at all. And no cable in the back. Okay so uh, that's the SIM stick. It's a fairly simplistic device. Very very easy to configure and uh, just allows you to use your simulator without having to worry about plugging in or taking out cables you can just plug it into a spare USB port and just leave it there and when you want to sim you just turn on your transmitter and away you go um, no need to plug anything in it just works immediately